Saw him when he was Alanis' drummer on the Jagged Little Pill Tour at Nissan Pavilion in August 96. Some, some band called Radiohead was opening for him. Taylor Hawkins, Foo Fighters drummer, dead at the age of 50. But he's just one of many. This is the question. Why are some of the world's top class performers and athletes dropping? So uh, it was it at least seven deaths for seven rockers in order of when they were publicized. James, I think this is really important to do. March 24th, frontman for Swiss metal band Newt, Didier Severin dies. No cause of death given. His age wasn't even listed. That same day, March 24th, Handshake Murders vocalist Jason Holmes, dead at the age of 42, passed away of undisclosed causes. March 25th, just last Friday, Taylor Hawkins, drummer of Foo Fighters, dead at 50. On March 25th, 2022, emergency services were called to the Casa Medina Hotel in Bogota, Colombia, where Taylor Hawkins was suffering from chest pains in his hotel room. Health personnel arrived and found Hawkins unresponsive. They performed CPR, but he was declared dead at the scene. No cause of death was given. The following day, Colombian authorities announced that a preliminary urine toxicology test indicated that Hawkins had 10 substances. That's the big headline now. Do any of those include Pfizer or Moderna drugs? Oh, we'll have to wait for that one forever to find out. On March 29th, the Foo Fighters confirmed that they had canceled all their upcoming shows following Hawkins' death. My sources say they canceled all the tour shows except the Grammys. At least not officially yet. So it is possible that in like four days, three days from now, that fake growl, Dave Grohl, I guess we'll continue this, what I call the, the triple crown of Papa culture rituals. You get this superb owl, which is pretty, pretty low and not, not much happened. Just, you know, boring rappers acting like they didn't espouse violence for 30 years before a swamp thing. Then, of course, the Oscars psyop and then the Grammy. So, I mean, literally. Dave Grohl could walk out, he could walk out maybe wearing a Kurt Cobain shirt while the nation does this weird, like, feel your pain ritual on TV. Whitney Houston was dead in the bathtub. They left her there while the Grammy parties just went on. Uh, that was exactly a decade ago. I've also seen someone purporting to be a friend of Taylor Hawkins saying Taylor never wanted to get the jab, but he did it to tour. He did it for Dave Grohl. And that's not even getting into their new Studio 666 horror film, or I guess like sort of how much more powerful the Vetter Grohl corporate grunster Frankenstein monster grows with each and every ritualized death. The next day, March 26th, too close to touch vocalist Keaton Pierce dies suddenly and unexpectedly. March 26th, country roots musician Jim Miller of Western Centuries passes away unexpectedly. Media notes, in good health. They just embarked on a spring tour. They played Thursday, March 24th. He died a couple hours after the show. The family has not released the cause of death. March 27th, R&B singer Keith Martin, dead at 55 in the Philippines, best known for his ballad, Because of You, discovered lifeless in his condo, officials estimate. He was maybe laying there for a week. And then, hey, March 28th. Mara Calix, acclaimed electronic musician and artist dead at 51. Warp Records announces that Calix had died. No cause of death disclosed, 51 years old. And then today, Tom Parker, singer for a band called The Wanted, dead at the age of 33. So I think that's actually eight dead in six days. That's not counting gospel singers, record store owners, 32-year-old concert promoters, and James, those are the ones we know about. New World Next Week flashback. Ticket Tech unveils world's first integrated mobile ticket and vaccination check-in. That was from last November. And there was some good news. New coalition of musicians opposing vax mandates and segregation from October of last year. You gotta keep them segregated. That's the new rallying cry. Punk band The Offspring fires drummer for refusing to take COVID vaccine. Pete Parada probably thanking his stars he didn't go along with this because he might be in the same situation as Taylor Hawkins right now. And then suddenly last summer, Foo Pfizer's Vaxxed Only concert canceled after Vaxxed band member gets COVID. Woohoo boy, that cover art. These Florida concert tickets are 18 bucks if you're vaccinated, $1,000 if you're not. And take me to your Vaxapalooza. Mayor Lightfoot announces return of Lala to Chicago. 
Because remember, voter ID is bad, but Vax ID is good. Fake punks get the real jab. Fake rebels jump on the punks get the jab bandwagon. April 2021, circle jerks, no effects, Joan Jett. Green Day's drummer said, let's all get vaxxed and get our concerts back. The music industry helped push this in a greater way than maybe restaurants or other employment places could have ever have hoped to. The entertainment industry, the super wokest, pushed death on countless people. They are the leading elements of this clown world segregation, but Jello Biafra, again, Lead singer of the Dead Kennedys, noted political spoken word artist, longtime independent label runner. He started making these videos, what would Jell-O do? Man, when Orange Man Bad happened, and then, of course, the scamdemic happens, and he starts wearing muzzles, and he starts advocating for all these things he used to speak out against. Jell-O, or someone working for him, have been busted, changing the title of a 2021 video about taking the Jabberwocky from a risk worth taking, they changed it to a gamble worth taking. Pretty subtle, but pretty telling. It's easy for us to believe that these rockers, oh, they cacked out, oh, they killed themselves, oh, he choked in his sleep, or whatever. Easy to sell the idea that, oh, he went out partying like a rocker. But it's also the world's best athletes as well. That's a whole other death list of people pledging their heart to the Pfizer flag on the pit. I just ask you, is it more likely that the drugs a world-class rock star has on the record been doing all of his life, that that suddenly killed him, or is there maybe some other element that's been introduced the last year or so? Shut up, conspiracy theorist. It's clearly the those drugs, not that drug. That's not even a drug. That's mother's milk that he injected <laughs> into his veins. Yeah, hmm. well, we'll leave people to ponder that in their own time.